everyone. We are back with another Ramp Careers Daily Update. Today, I am joined with both co-founders, Mitch and Manoj. Boys, how you doing? Hump day, Danny. Hump day. We're almost there. So today, we want to continue along with our session on how to answer very common interview questions that are going to come up in nearly every SDR or really any interview you face. Today, we're going to tackle the question, what are some of your strengths and weaknesses? So Manoj, I know you framed this up really nicely for us in our prep session for today. Why don't you talk to us about what they're asking at a high level and what this question actually is getting toward? Yeah, I think this is a awareness gauge, right? It's a self-awareness gauge. Have you done a little bit of introspection and do you know generally what you're good at and what you're not so good at, right? I think that's really what this question is attempting to get at is how self-aware are you? I don't think that there's anything more to it. People tend to perceive this as a trick question and start thinking about all the different ways that they can gamify an answer or make up strength that they don't have or manufacture quasi weaknesses that are not really weaknesses. But you know, really, I, I don't think that there's anything there. Personally, I don't ask this question because there's not very much that I can glean from it. I think there's other ways that as an interviewer, you can gauge whether someone is self-aware than asking, hey, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? I think that's just a, a personal opinion of mine is that it's a very lazy question to ask as an interviewer, but the world is what it is. And it's a question that you may likely get and better to be prepared and thoughtful than make something up on the spot. So that's that's what I think at, at the high level. Mitch, what, what do you think? Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, personally, I haven't seen this question too many times. Maybe it's just kind of like an old school question, but I know that other people other folks I talk to will get it occasionally. Where do we want to start? We want to start with strengths or weaknesses and we can kind of throw out some common examples. Maybe start at strengths, Danny. I know you've done a bit of coaching with some of our fellows on, on how to at least think about answering this question. But what are your thoughts on going about answering what are your biggest strengths? Yeah, so I think there's a fine line to balance here between overly cocky, arrogant, egotistical, and what the question, the spirit of the question is, which is really what are you good at and what can you bring to the table if I were to add you to my team. If you're being interviewed by the hiring manager or even the recruiter, the way to answer this, it's really, it's a three-part answer. So the first is communicate what the strength is. The second is give concrete examples of what the strength is. And the third is explain the impact that that strength has had either on your own life or on others' lives or on a, a previous team. Some examples of strengths that I've heard work really well in this type of answer are something like, I'm a great team player. You, know, you explain the example of how you're a great team player, the impact it has, and then how it directly translates into the workplace or could translate into the workplace. Another one is I'm extremely organized, right? You explain an example of how you were organized, how it impacted yourself or others, and then how it would translate into the workplace. Another one is driven or motivated, right? I'm very motivated. I haven't reached my goals yet. And that inspires me. So an example of, of when you were motivated and when you were at your best and how that could impact the team, you know, whether it's I'd like to motivate sitting beside others and encouraging them or, or, or whatnot. So those are some examples of strengths that I've seen from a high level, those concepts of examples where strengths really shine through in an interview question. I think if, you know, one, one thing I've heard before is you know, people struggle to reflect on their own abilities right? And one of the best ways to do this is whether it's sales or whatever job you're applying for, do a simple Google search, top attributes for this career, right? See what comes up. You'll get a list of 20 some odd attributes and then go down that list and think through stories or uh, experiences that you've had that could translate to those. It's a good like kind of exercise. I'll get your wheels turning if you're having trouble just coming up with some off the top of your head yep. and then relate those back. You know, when you're telling that story, like Danny said, relate it back to the career. I have great leadership skills. Here's my story. And, and, and demonstration of that. And here's why that makes me or will make me a good SDR or good, you know, fill in the blank, whatever title you're applying for. Yeah, that's right. Manoj, I know you wanted to talk about weaknesses a little bit too. And we can talk through some answers that we've heard that were particularly poor because that's probably the best way to, to explain this one is a lot of times folks think they should answer like Michael Scott, where their greatest weakness is actually their biggest strength. But that's not how you're supposed to answer this question, right? Yeah, it's a bad way of answering that question. It's funny, I think people if you think you can pull off humor like that and quickly reset you can do it but i don't think i certainly don't have that level of confidence and charisma 
pull this off doing an interview, but I don't want any of our discussion to kind of be prescriptive where recommending certain answers for strengths and certain answers for weaknesses. I think that kind of defeats the purpose because again, really, this is a gauge of general self-awareness. But with that said, one of the weaknesses that a lot of early career professionals have, but they don't realize that they have it is lack of experience. In reality, that is probably your biggest weakness because you you haven't done the job before. You haven't had a few years under your belt. So how do you know what you don't know unless you've had the good fortune of having a meaningful internship, which very many people don't? How do you know your ability to perform unless you've actually done it for a little bit? And so I think it's an acceptable answer to say, you know, listen, I, I would say that my biggest weakness is that I haven't been an SDR in the past and I don't fully know what the job would entail. I've done done X, Y, and Z to get to bring myself up to speed as much as possible. I think if you've done that work, you should let folks know that you've, you've done X, Y, and Z and that maybe the gap is a hundred and you've taken some affirmative steps. You've been through some kind of a training program or you've done an internship or you've had conversations with 15 other people, done a bunch of reading. And so I think I've done everything that I can to prepare myself. But with that said, there are things that I will learn only by doing the job. And while I'm positive that based on knowing myself that I'd be a good fit. There's still a little bit of self-doubt that, you know, hey, I haven't had enough experience. That's a weakness that most people have. There might be better ways of structuring this answer, but that's a general weakness, especially for early career professionals. What I don't think folks should do is, again, come up with some strange answer. It's really not a weakness and say, oh, I'm, I'm too motivated or I, I never take a break or I work too hard. I mean, come on now. Care it's, too much. None of I that. Care, <laughs> I care too much. I think that's a silly answer. You, Danny, no I point care. saying that. What, what are some funny ones that you folks have heard? I haven't heard any bad ones. I mean, I don't ask. I've, this. Often I hear something like, oh, I'm too much of a, of a perfectionist. Like I really care about every single detail. I'm too much of a perfectionist. I go to the end to care, to pay attention to every single detail. I want to make sure everything is perfect before I submit something or before I, my work is done. And okay, sure, you could be a perfectionist, but that really isn't a weakness. That's really saying like you are so good at something that you really want it to be the best of the best quality you can before you, you hit the go, put, the go yeah. button. Obviously, everybody wants their work to be perfect before they submit it to their boss or submit it to a client. And that's just, that's just never the case. There's no real perfect, right? Yeah, no, I agree. And then another category of really really bad answers and I just shows complete lack of judgment is you might be super honest and indeed bring up a true weakness of yours, but don't follow up with anything else. For example, let's say that there's certain attributes that you probably should have if you, you're you working as a SDR or a BDR, you know, for example, being able to do things that are a little bit repetitive or spending time on the phone and you may hate cold calling and you may hate spending calling people out of the blue on the phone. But saying that one of those things are your weaknesses and then leaving it at that is a bad idea because yes you answered their question but no you haven't you you also raised a whole series of questions in their mind that they probably didn't have and so while i appreciate people being honest which is why i think this is a shitty interview question to ask so if that's the route you want to take that's fine but understand that you also have triggered a whole lot of whole lot of concerns in people's minds if you don't follow up by saying, okay, I have the self-awareness to know that this is a weakness and this is probably going to affect my performance. What have I done to get better at it, right? So if you've taken steps to get better at it, bring that up, please. Don't just come up with the weakness and then stop your answer. It's a terrible way of thinking about it. But yeah. really, I think that's about it. I really don't know beyond that whether there's answers that we would suggest that people give. I, I, that'd be terrible advice from us. And I don't think that should be the uh, the approach that you should be taking. I encourage encourage folks to not Google best answers for interview questions because it's so dumb. It's so sad that that's the reality that you have people that write about this and it's almost like a game where interviewers ask this question and like what you're supposed to impress them like this is some kind of a circus act. It just right. pisses me off. But, but that's the well, reality, right? Like that is the truth of what we're all doing. I know, man. But like really is that the point? Because what are you really screening for? Someone's ability to floor you in a 20 minute, you know, Q&A discussion? I mean, go watch some Netflix if you're looking for entertainment. Why are you <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to fix the hiring recruiting process overnight, right? Like as a, as a first year grad, you know, looking for your first job, you can't tell the recruiting manager, ah, you know, Mrs. Recruiter, that's a terrible question. What you should be asking me is how am I going, you know, like that, I, I flip, wish that flip was... the script, flip the script on them. You never know. Good work. <laughs> maybe, maybe they'd be impressed that you like, you know, have intelligently about 
how you'd approach it. I wish. Yeah. Um, I, I think that I think the key takeaway here is don't copy another person's answer. These have to be genuine. They have to be your own and use the frameworks that we're suggesting. Don't copy anything verbatim that you read online and yep. and don't turn your greatest weakness if you are, if you are offered up that question into something that is also or could be construed as a strength. Be honest, be objective and be humble in that question because that's what the interviewer is looking for. I'll say one last thing because we want to be helpful and we want to provide substantive guidance where possible and i don't think we've done a lot of this in, the, in this discussion i think it's been a bit theoretical this is how it's supposed to be but i'll leave with one thing if the intent of the question is to gauge your awareness levels then and if someone asks you what your strengths are one way of thinking about answering that question is saying some of here are some things that i'm naturally good at i never had to try to be good at it I just am by virtue of who I am. Here are two things I'm just naturally good at. Here are three things that I've learned to get good at. It is a strength, but it didn't come naturally to me. And I spent three years to get really good at it. And so answering that question in that way, where you list out a couple of attributes that you claim are your natural strengths, and then list out a few more attributes that you claim are strengths, but you have to work for it, just makes you come off as someone that is incredibly self-aware. Right? So that's a good way of answering that question. I'll, I'll leave you with that in terms of something that's substantive that you can use in an interview process. But you know, for the love of God, just don't don't make shit up or Google, Google answers and spitball. A random shit it doesn't could help you just, could you just answer all in the context of the job like here are my strengths in the context of the role here are my weaknesses in the context of the role whether it's i don't have an experience you know i have no cold calling experience or i have never sold into a cfo function like i've never sold into it that's a big learning curve right how do I sell into a CIO's office? Yeah. Um, is that like an acceptable answer? You can try it. They may push back on you to be like, hey, look, no, I'm looking for, you know, an actual weakness, not because you haven't taken the role or haven't done the role. What would you be weak at? You know, I think I think they might push back on you there. I've gotten that answer before and asked. I have asked a follow-up question. I'm really bad at answering this question. If you have one weakness, <laughs> is that I don't know what my weaknesses are. I'm sure I have some, but I just can't articulate them. That's, that's why <laughs> this is a good place to wrap i think we talked theoretically we've tried hard to give some tactical advice today just to be genuine be yourself be humble and for mitch minoj this is danny with another ramp careers daily update thanks for tuning in everybody yes. bye bye